what's up? This is Astro Dim here doing your daily moon reading, your daily luminary reading. I'm still trying to figure out what the best name I should use. I kind of want to say daily moon reading so people can know what I'm talking about because I might say luminary reading. They're like, what the fuck is that? And I want to make sure people see this straight up is what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to call it daily moon reading, but let me know if you think of a different cool name for me to use for this okay so let's talk about september 1st 2018 happy september i'm very happy because august was a shit ass month this whole summer was shitty pretty much but august was absolutely terrible for me so i am very happy for this new change i ain't gonna front on you i'm just not going to do that okay (laughs) so yeah um let's talk about September, you know, fall's about to pop up. That's wild, right? And um yeah, I'm excited for the new season. I really am. I, I'm ready for the change. Um and of course we're in a mutable sign, Virgo. Immutable is all about changing the next season. So let's see what's up with the moon now, the different aspects it's making, and all that. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look. The moon at um, September 1st, 2018, 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. is at 14 degrees Taurus. So again, this whole thought of your emotions being kind of focused on self-worth and material worth is still going on strong. But the interesting thing about it is is the moon moved to a different decant. The moon is now in a Mercury decant, which Mercury is all about thought processes. It's all about um, details, routines, procedures, um, putting things in order and organization. So now that you've like had yesterday, August 31st, to focus more on you know, um, your desires and wants and being extremely Venusian and just focusing on the end goal. Now you're thinking, all right, how can I get to the end goal? What like details and things I need to follow in order to get what I want, right? And so this moon is actually moved away. It's not conjuncting Uranus anymore. So you kind of already understood like, all right, my, what, part of my uniqueness and individuality should I use to get build the self-worth and get the material worth that I want let me now focus on how can I actually get what I want um through uh, I can't talk procedures and um you know um process and stuff like that okay so you're just getting really organized cleaning and organizing house just to make sure you get to the goals that you want okay now um let's look at certain aspects that this moon is making okay so this moon um i usually give a 10 degree orb for the moon and it will make sense because um you know the moon is going to be changing degrees super duper fast but I'm going to just do five degree orbs here, okay? Um, and then if I miss something, we'll definitely talk about it in the next day or whatever. Well, um, if it's something that I really feel like I need to mention, I'll definitely mention it, okay? Um, so let's look at some aspects. The moon um, is still making, well, you know what? I'm going to count this as a trine. Um, the moon is still kind of trining the sun, Okay. Uh, it technically is trying the sun still since I talked about the 10 degree orb thing but I do want to talk about this because it's uh, energies that's really worth mentioning like I mentioned before um, the moon I mean the sun is in Virgo right and Virgo is ruled by Mercury and I just said this moon is in a Mercury decant so this is prime time to plan on desires that you want okay you really this is an amazing time to start work, thinking about Not stop thinking about the desires that you want, but how can I get it? This is a great time to start that because every time you start something, you can build a um, NATO chart off of it. So this would be a great time to start figuring out the plan because if you start figuring figuring it out right now, that's its NATO chart. So that means it's always going to have this beautiful energy of knowing how to plan things efficiently and effectively. So it'll be really dope if you were to do that. Okay. 
okay okay now um this moon i still i wouldn't count this as um squaring the north node anymore we already focused on that yesterday so i'm just gonna skip on over um however this moon for a short time will be opposite jupiter interesting right so with the moon being opposite jupiter we're kind of having this tug of war where um our beliefs is really focused on um shared worth having someone that you're deeply emotionally intimately connected with whether it's romantic or platonic and really understanding the meaning of shared worth and this is like jupiter here so it's a deeply connected to our philosophies and our beliefs and what we really feel like is important in our lives but deep down inside our emotions is like mm, i'm not focused on shared worth right now i want to focus on my own worth my self-worth because you you know deep down inside you know that you kind of need to have some self-worth within yourself before you go ahead and have that share worth with someone else you need to deem your own self worthy you need to build on your own material wise and just emotionally in order for you to build um material emotionally with somebody else so you really kind of want to make the plans to focus on that but you know deep down inside and emotionally and your beliefs you're kind of like all right i know that eventually i need to focus on sharing this with somebody that's really really important to me you get what i'm saying so that's something for sure um, with this moon over here too it's going to be trying pluto but pluto is going to be retrograde with Pluto trining the moon um, and the Pluto being retrograde, you know, we're really working on our self-empowerment. We are really focused on our um, transformation and focusing on just rebirth of just changing ourselves and gaining that authority, gaining that um you know, status, reputation that we want, especially with, you know, Pluto being in Capricorn. But again, we're internalizing this information, sort it out emotionally, sort it out in our heads logically, and not really spill it out externally. You get what I'm saying? And that goes along with the moon too, because the moon focuses, focuses on our deepest emotions, okay? But the uh, like I said before, um, this is good energy because... You know, you like Pluto being in Capricorn makes you see like, yes, I do want this status. I do want this career. I do want this reputation and I'm ready to get at it. Let me plan then get at it from there and the, but the moon is saying like, yes, we do want this, but we have to be very detailed with this plan to get the desires that we want. You get what I'm saying? So it's, real, it's a beautiful exchange that's happening here and a lot could really um, come out of this today. Um, and then lastly, the last thing I want to talk about too that's worth noting is that this moon is sextiling um, Neptune in a, by one degree orb. And so there is, um, Neptune is interesting because De Neptune is retrograde. So this whole idea of um, not only spirituality, but our self undoing is saying things that is, is, is we're actually internalizing this energy, this information, um, and really working through that too, which is um, interesting because we're internalizing a lot. First of all, we're talking about the moon here. The moon is our deepest emotions. We're internalizing the power that we want to get, but we also internalizing the spiritual aspect of this power, the spiritual aspect of this empowerment and authority in our emotions in general. Um, and so it's weird because usually Neptune um, retrograde, that means that our intuition is a little bit off and it's trying to teach us something. It's trying to help us fine tune our intuition. And so um, it makes sense, like work on yourself internalize this energy internalize the powers that you want and work on your emotions and once you work through your emotions you're you're emotionally become intelligent and stronger but your intuition is clearer the channel that you have between you and the the guides and uh, god and angels is coming sharper and stronger you hear what i'm saying so uh we have to definitely take um advantage of this energy too because us being intuitive but kind of being slightly off is teaching us how to be more intuitive you get what i'm saying
you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So definitely focus on that too. Also note that things might seem a little bit disillusioned. Again, this is teaching us a lesson. It's not going to be too bad because the moon is sextile in Neptune. It's not like squaring it. When it's squaring it, then shit is really disillusioned and then you can fuck shit up. But this is teaching you different ways on how to go about things emotionally. Focusing more on the intuition side instead of being so practical and desire based. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, this is my luminary report slash moon report for September 1st. Happy September, y'all. I'm excited. I'm excited for the fall too, y'all. And um, yeah, happy birthday, September Virgos. Yes, I love me some Virgos. Y'all are my babies. Y'all are. So happy birthday, September Virgos. Peace.